snappers, it's Tori Mardigar. Welcome back to the show. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing with my life anymore. Welcome back to Tori Mardigar. Minecraft on the time shot something or another. <laughs> We're here at spawn. Uh, the the dragon head that April acquired from the Ender ship. Uh, she, we she placed on top of the dragon egg that we have. Did we get a new dragon egg in the dragon fight a couple weeks ago? I don't remember. I don't know. That's an interesting thought. I know we got a new portal. I wonder if we got a dragon egg. Uh, today, though, speaking of the end, we are going to be returning there. I know we had a couple of weeks of videos of that, uh, and then we spent a little bit of time hanging out with uh, Jake, but um, we're heading back. We're heading back because I got a hot tip from Edson, who was streaming, um, and uh, he went and he found himself a pair of Elytra wings, which... If you guys follow Edson, you know that this episode's coming out weeks after I recorded it. But, uh, the magic of YouTube, and we're running the wrong way. And we're going to head to the end, because I didn't mean to go down my tunnel. So, here we go. But yeah, we're heading to the end, because e uh, Edson was on one of his streams... And he was desperately searching for a ship with a, to find a pair of elytra wings. Um, and Wynn found a ship when we were all first in here. As you guys saw, we uh, a couple weeks ago, you guys saw the episode where uh, uh, we were in the end exploring after the dragon fight. And uh, Wynn happened to find... Ooh! A little bit of a bane and lag there. Uh, and Wynn happened to find a pair... Uh, uh, the, the only ship we found that day and a pair of elytra wings along with it. Um... And that was the only one we found. Uh, and so Edson then spent a bunch of time in his stream looking, and he found one, and then just within range of the ship that he was in, um, visually, uh, he found another. Uh, and I happened to be in Edson's stream, and I, we were talking and everything, and and he's like, and basically we have a rule on time shot right now because we don't want, oop, we're gonna do that. Uh, basically, we have a rule in time shot right now because these things are so rare. These elytra wings are super rare, um, and we kind of have a rule where you get one pair, go find one if you want, um, collect it, bring it back, use it however you'd like. But you only get that pair. If you lose it, if it breaks or you die and it disappears or whatever, you just you're just done. Um, and so that's the rule we've kind of got to keep it fair so that, you know, people can go find a pair without, you know, because Ed, Edson in his streams, if, if he wanted to, could probably go and, and find, you know, a hundred pairs of these things. Um, and so to keep it fair for people, well, not a hundred, I mean, there's not that many of them around, but, um, okay, so we need to, he gave me the approximate chords, so let's see, um... Okay, so I need to go positive X, negative Z. Okay. I guess it's kind of this direction. Give or take. Um, but, but I mean, <clears throat> so I mean, theoretically, Edson streams for a couple hours almost every day, oftentimes on time shot. He could, he could have theoretically otherwise come in here and pretty much stripped the end bear and, uh, but we, we decided because these things are going to be so rare and they're new and they're fun and everything that, um, you know, to be fair, we're going to try and, and do stuff in a manner that would be, you know, uh, in a way that people could, could, should, could do it as well. Now, let's see, we probably, I have the approximate chords, but some of this, like, we need to be heading in kind of that direction. And I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how we're going to do that. I wasn't watching his stream the whole time, and he was pretty far out. We need to go, let's see, if we look, we need to go like almost like 5,000 blocks, basically. <laughs> so, yeah, let's, let's go across this bridge, the original bridge that we did the other day, and let's just kind of see, ooh, am I getting hungry? What's the deal? Yep. Getting hungry. Hope I got enough food to get through this thing. But um, I, I I put on some gear from the I went to the uh, the the community farm and I grabbed some gear 
uh, and and grabbed uh, just a plain sword I had and a, and a decent bow that I had gotten from fishing. And uh, from there, now what is this? See, my worry is that Edson did a ton of ender pearling, <laughs> which I don't know that I want to do a lot of, but it's probably going to be necessary at some point. But uh, yeah, so as I was streaming, he found a second pair, and obviously he couldn't take it. And he was gonna bring it back for me, but I was like, you know what? Just send me the cords. I can, I can go, I can go get it myself. I, I feel, I felt cheaty, which I mean, it is, it is cheaty. But I felt, I felt bad um, to get a pair of them that way, um, like just having him deliver it to my front door. One, that where's the fun in that? And two. I just it just felt I don't know dirty. They're so rare and there's so few of them. If I was gonna get one of the few that exist on the server, I wanted to at least go work for it a little bit. Um, alrighty, so let's double check here. Okay, so uh, no, that's yeah, no, that's right, that's right. Yep. Okay, so we need to get over to this landmass here. So let's do... Oh, I'm so scared. Okay. Okay. And then... Beautiful. Enderpearls are kind of at a premium right now because, um, at least at the time of this recording, the end farm is still broken. Um, which maybe we'll be working on at some point. It, it was kind of Jake and Dave's project. I think they kind of accidentally broke the farm when they were doing their improvement beautification stuff. And I think they had kind of fixed it, but then all kinds of other stuff went wrong with it. Um, I'm not sure if it was is really related to them. I think something with 1.9 potentially had a hand in it. Because, like, I think... Somebody said, and I still haven't tested this. I need to at some point. But somebody had said that... You can't put mobs inside minecarts anymore, and that the Endermite might have died strictly because of that, and or maybe Enderman um, pathfinding on them has changed, um, which will allow Endermen to actually see it. Uh, well, they, they could see it before, because that's what caused the whole farm to work. The farm worked because Endermen could see the Endermite and were, eight, and were running after it trying to kill it. Okay, okay. We're in the right place. We're in the right place. Um, but, either way, the Endermite's dead, and so um, the farm isn't working. So we can't get levels, really. Uh, we can't get uh, Ender Pearls as efficiently. So us PVS members are, like, hoarding them like crazy. It's like, no, they're mine. Stop it. Because I also think when uh, Ed's, or, uh, Jake and Dave did their, their beautification project, they moved everything, and I think they just dumped all of the chests of Ender Pearls into the void, basically. Uh, and so we don't really have a very good stockpile of them at the moment. But I'm going to, I think. Oh, I'm going to cross this because this looks. It's in the general direction, so I'm assuming this is where Edson went. Uh, and I'm hoping that uh, it's the correct direction, and I'm. Woo! Hang on. Hands getting sweaty, getting nervous over the void. I don't have anything of real value on me. I mean, I would prefer not to lose these boots and stuff, but... Because um, I, I did bring a decent pair of boots so that I could um, ender pearl without too much concern. Um, whew. <laughs> Uh, oh man, Whew. getting nervous. All right, let's uh, let's double check. Where are we at? Um, we're going up in the right direction. Are we going? Okay, I think we're st I think we're still going in the right direction. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna bring you guys back once we get to the ship, or the ship gets in sight, and then we'll go explore the ship our ourselves, because we didn't actually get to look in, in the ship the last time we we were seeing one. We didn't have the blocks to get up there or the ender pearling skills to get up there, but we brought blocks. Brought a stack of netherrack with me. And uh, and so we will explore that when we get back, but I figure this is probably going to take a while. It's in, 
was pretty far out. We still had several thousand blocks to go. And I think I'd rather spend some time with you guys uh, playing around with the elytra maybe for a minute. Um, but uh, at the end, as opposed to wandering for a while in the end, if that makes sense. So, I'll bring you guys back in just a second. Alrighty guys, so I've been following Edson's stream because I had difficulty following his path after a little while. Uh, I did die once, so I had to run back and get some other gear, and I actually, I was mostly on his path. I did take pretty much right before I died, I took a wrong turn, so... Um, I was following his path on the stream, I found where I died, and I was able to get on the right track again. But, uh, been following it for a while. Edson in his stream, if you guys saw it, he did find, uh, the first, uh, end city that he found is right there. There's another one right here, but I don't think he saw it in his stream. I think he went this way. Automatically. Um, I don't know if we can see any evidence of that, but... Um, we're going to pick back up where his path was, but there's this other end city here, and I do not think he saw it. The, the weird thing is, though, like, it's not even just not loading in visually. I think it's just some weirdly glitched, fragmented thing. I just, I don't think it's, I don't think it's all there. I don't think it was all generated. Um, and so, I don't know, I don't know if there's anything of interest in these things um my guess is so my original thought is that maybe over here is part of a ship but i kind of doubt it looking at this other one i mean it's probably just part of this fragmented this weird uh end end building but i don't think i'm going to explore it because there's a couple of end cities or whatever right by where the ship is but i want to just point it out because i saw it and i i came this way because i saw it immediately i mean there's the one edson was at you can see it from from here um but he took an immediate right because that was just kind of the direction he was going in a stream and uh and uh and so i don't think he saw it at all but yeah right there so edson if you're watching this <laughs> you could go back i might come back and get it at some point see if there's any loot worth having in it but um, we're on a mission today. We're gonna go pick up that elytra before anybody else because that's the important thing um, And then there is a couple of end cities with a little bit of loot in them uh, Right by there, but I'm gonna pick back up Edson's uh, Scent here and then I will bring you guys back when we find this ship I just wanted to kind of point that out because I'm like, oh, it's this weird and not loaded in thing and Probably the first person to see it. So there we go. Anyway, uh, I'll see you guys back in a second Okay guys, so <laughs> Um we are, I think we're here. I think we're getting close. Um, we're about 300 blocks away from where we need to be, I think. We just kind of showed up. Um, most of from that last and so... That sounds a madman. Um, okay, yeah. He's, he's way more confident in his pearling abilities than I am. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna... I think we're going over to this landmass here, uh, because, spoiler alert, there's another end city, and I think that's the ship that Edson raided. Um, and there was another one right nearby. Uh, he was raiding that city, and, uh, and that ship, and, uh, he saw a little nugget of something in the distance, he thought it was another city. Ended up, I think, just being another ship. Um, so we're gonna head over here. And I'm gonna get all this nastiness off my screen in a minute, but uh, I need to I need to get like a texture pack or something that makes pumpkins not like the worst thing in the world. <laughs> but <sighs> okay, let's see. We might be close enough now to yeah yeah yeah. Even I'm comfortable purling uh, this distance. Normally I just be like oh yeah let's purl all the places, but uh, I don't I don't really want to die. It's taken a long time to get out here. Um, and so preferably, not dying would be the way to go. Um, okay, so this is the one that Edson raided so far as I'm aware. Um, and so I think, well here, let me let me pull the cords back up. So I think, it was it around? We gotta go this way, we gotta go this way. Oop, I think that might be, 
think this might be it starting to spawn in here, right? Yep, okay, so this is the second ship that Edson saw. So he got the Elytra from uh, that ship. And for those of you guys who are not aware, because you may not be aware of what I'm talking about, what is an Elytra? Um, and it looks like there actually is another city here as well that I forgot about, but... Um, oop, Edson's levels, quick! <laughs> Woo! I've got eight levels. Oh, yeah. Uh, so an elytra is kind of a gliding apparatus. Ooh, and we've got the dragon head on the front here. Um, oh, it's not even over void. Okay, I thought that it was there for a bit. So um, the elytra is a gliding apparatus, which allows makes flight uh, somewhat possible in Minecraft. No, it's not true flight specifically it's more gliding so like you have to jump off of something high i believe but um it allows you to glide it does have durability so you need to like basically edson and, and recommended and i totally agree like since the rule is kind of going to be you only really get one like this will be the only elytra i ever get and if if i get this and then immediately fall in the void then i just i can't even go try for another one this is this is the one i get um so, I want to get this dragon head while we're here. Uh, April got the one off the ship that Wynn raided. I don't know if Edson got the one off of his ship, but I want this one. <laughs> I came all the way out here. I'm going to grab it. Um, but, uh, yeah, so it's a gliding apparatus. And we only get one because they're so rare. I mean, I had to come out, you know, almost 5,000 blocks um, to, to actually get to this one. And man, Edson, I mean, he, he was the one who did all the legwork actually searching for it. So uh, it just happened to be that there was another one directly next to the one that he already had. That was weird. Okay, so we've got the dragon head now, which um, we can, I believe. Hopefully I'm not making anybody mad. <laughs> look, at, look at us. Okay, I'm gonna stare into the void so I don't anger anybody for a second, but look at it! <laughs> so ridiculous! <sighs> okay, uh, alright, so back to the pumpkin because I really don't want to get killed by an enderman or something uh, while we're here. Um, Edson was kind enough to leave a. Let's see, we could basically just block up from here. Uh, was kind enough to leave an ender chest here for me. Um, so we should be able to put what we gathered uh, into the ender chest and uh, and then just kill ourselves to get home. Uh, but yeah, so this is one of the end ships. We didn't really get to explore it last. Oh, he left a shulker. <laughs> I thought he killed all of those. All right, so before we do too much exploring, let's let's do this, because I want to, if we die, um, so this is basically the setup here, um, and let me let me pop uh, anything of value. Pearls are kind of at a premium right now. This bow is actually pretty decent, so I'll throw that in there. Um, I'll, uh, I'll put that food away. We'll keep this. I want to get that stuff. Arrows are useful. Um, uh, definitely the dragon head. Um, and if we got room for other stuff, we'll do that. But, okay, so, first off, let me, we're in the ship now, so I feel like we could take this off for a minute. Uh, no Enderman up here, but this is the Elytra. Basically, they only spawn in these ships, um, and, and, and they, like, there'll be a single one in an item frame in the ship. I don't know if this is intended to be, like, levitating the ship, but, um... There we go. So there are the elytra. Uh, it's a gliding apparatus that we are not going to test here in the end. I'm going to stick it in there because that's the only pair I ever get. Now let's look at some of the loot. Edson left us some loot, stuff that he could not fit in his ender chest, um, and he wanted the pearls to come back. So I will do my best to bring back as many pearls as I can because they are kind of at a premium right now. Although, well, we'll definitely drop arrows before pearls. Um, and food and stuff. None of that's really useful. Okay, but so beyond that, I promised him I would try to bring back. Let's bring back the Death Strider boots. Fire protection. Decent working pick. Uh, I feel like some of this stuff maybe had... Uh, nothing of real interest there. 
Just random picks and... Ooh! Now this is interesting. This has got knockback sharpness, but it's got mending on it. So I could make a decent sword. Ooh, and mending boots. Okay, so those are definitely going in there for sure. Um, in fact, let's get... I'll put a stack of arrows in there. Um, and again, food we'll, we'll leave out. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, regular diamonds will leave. Efficiency on breaking, knockback. Um, okay, so let's explore for a minute here. So yeah, this is the ship. This is the ship, and I, uh, I want to try and take on that shulker thing. Uh, potions of healing. Oh, I forgot that, uh, they messed with brewing. You've got to have, a, a blaze powders to power the thing now, or whatever. Which I guess makes sense. Okay, so we've got arrows on us. Now this guy, if he hits us, as you guys saw in one of the episodes, he'll make us levitate. So I'm going to try and not fly to my death. Although, if it, if it happens at this point, you know, we'll be fine. There he goes. Okay, so he's dead. Wait till his last of the... Okay, so we did get hit with it, so now we're flying. <laughs> but we're inside there. Now, wait, what? Who's... Ooh, there's one. Okay, we killed him. Is this guy over on the tower literally shooting at us? There's no way, right? There's no way! Um, okay. Let me, let me check up here. See if there's anything of interest. Um, uh, we'll get our, we'll get our ender chest full, and then I think we'll go take a quick look at this end city tower thing. Um, and, uh, and if we die then, then we die. We're gonna be trying to get back anyway. Um, so let's get this full of everything of interest that's here. If we find some better stuff over there, we can always do that. Shovels, I'm probably gonna leave. Iron stuff, I'm gonna leave. Uh, depth strider boots I will take. That'll definitely be useful. Um, ooh, I gotta get all my armor. Well, no, these boots I'll put in there for sure. The rest of this is, is well, I, I could, I, if I can save it, I'll save it. But these boots are actually my boots. Um, pearls, again, they're they're at a premium right now, unfortunately. Otherwise, it'd be like, ah, eh, screw it, pearls, we don't need that. Um, the rest of this, though, I'm willing to sacrifice, I think. Okay, so let's pick out, um, I could always use a good working pick, so we'll take the picks. Take those, uh, and I guess that makes us full. So, we're gonna leave stuff here. Um, nobody will ever come back for it, <laughs> but uh, in fact, I'm gonna take at least a stack of these with me. Because, yeah, nobody will ever come back for it, but um, if they choose to, uh, there's some stuff here. Um, and, and. I mean, because I'm going to die, right? So, might as well leave everything. Um, although, let's... Uh, again, arrows we can get. I think somebody's got a farm. Let's take this chest place, at least. Chest pieces are useful. Okay. Alrighty. So, now, let's go ahead and... Uh, oop. Going to need some pearls, at least. Pearls are useful. Let's, yeah, that'll be good. Um, I'll take the boots. I think. Yeah, that'll be good. Can always use more diamond gear. Alright, so... Let's just go for that. Ooh, but of course I took my feather falling boots off to- Ooh! Uh, oh, on my head. <laughs> took my feather falling boots off. Um, alright, let's just take a quick peek in here. Because I'm not sure- I think Edson did explore this and take most of the loot. But, uh, I think he might have had to leave some stuff, because he was getting pretty full by this point, because he'd 
already fully explored explored two other uh, end towers. So um, we'll just take a quick look here, and then if we die, we die because that's the goal eventually. Anyway, uh, so let's just a quick couple minutes. A couple minutes will. Um, Where, where are we? Where's my... Oh, there we are. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. There's so many of them. Oh, no. I need to be eating stuff. Oh, he didn't clear this room out. Oh gosh, why can't I look away? Okay. Ooh. I don't know how much longer this is gonna last. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Well, that helped, maybe. I'm gonna take this pumpkin off, because I don't think that we're gonna need it up here. And I feel like I probably am gonna need to be able to see more than, uh, more than the other thing. Okay. Okay. Is there any loot in here? Nope. Okay, so those guys are dead. Oh, somebody's still alive. <laughs> Hit with another one, so we get eight seconds of levitation. I really had kind of hoped when they first introduced these guys, and I heard about them while they were doing the snapshots, I really had kind of hoped that they would be kind of something that eventually would lead to, like, a potion effect for levitation. Like, the glider thing is going to be cool, or at least mildly interesting. Ooh. Um... At the very least, mildly interesting, right? But, oh, <laughs> um, but I, I really, have, you know, ever since I started playing Minecraft, I was playing it like creative and, okay, this is going to be taking way too much time. And we don't have feather falling, so as I'm purling, I'm just ruining things, but, uh, whoo, buddy. No, oh, that stupid thing in the way. There we go. Well, we're dead. <laughs> okay. Well, there we go. So that was uh, that was an end tower. We we explored one of those a little bit before, uh, and you could check Edson's uh, stream. Oh, I didn't actually want to come back into the end. That's not what I planned on doing. I, I wanted to go the other direction. Um, the end portal is just up here, so we'll we'll run up and and jump in and then we will take a quick uh twirl around with uh oop. hey end remains hang on it's okay it's okay all right beautiful all right so we need to go in these portals instead uh let's head back to the base um and let's see, where would be the best place? Let's go. Let's. Where, where do I think would be the best place to give a quick test? I just want to do a quick test. Um, I don't want to, I don't want to use them up too much, but I do want to, I, want to, I do want to see how they work. Because uh, truthfully, I've never actually seen anybody use them. I think I had to leave Edson's stream before he got around to actually doing that himself. Let's go, we'll just head back to Tortoise Island. That'll be quickest. Uh, and we'll give it a go, we'll give it a go. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll give it a go, it'll be fine. Uh, we've got a little hill next to Tortoise Island, so we'll, we'll quick jump into our inner chest. Uh, and then we'll, uh, we'll throw these guys on and, uh, give it a whirl. Should be fun. Hopefully. Hopefully. It was a lot of work if it's not even fun. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. I'll be the judge of that. 
All right. Um, let me first check my furnace. See if I've got any food, because I just lost everything I'd had. Nope. No food in the furnace. Maybe I've got some actually in my food chest, maybe? Still? It's been a while since I've stocked this. All of Mara's cookies. Sure. Sure. We'll eat cookies. Cookies for breakfast! Okay. So, nom 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 nom. Um, um. Okay. Now, the elytra. So, let's see. Do we put it on like a chess piece? Okay. So, we put it on like a chess piece. That works. Now, let's, um, let's head up. I don't know what kind of dip is necessary. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Um, I do know that Edson recently did unlock mending books, so we're going to do a very quick little test here, but then before I do any further use with it, I'm going to have to get a mending book from one of those villagers, and I'm going to pop it on here so that pretty much it keeps itself repaired. Um, and I may even, well, at least what I'm using, I'm not going to use them all the time. I probably won't carry them with me at all uh, for worrying about uh, losing them. But, um, okay, so let's go into F5 mode. So we've got this, oh, ooh, okay, so we've got like this wing set. And if I jump and, okay, so let's just jump here. That didn't seem to do anything. So I'm, I'm pressing space thinking that that'll do, because that's jump. Um, and then that's kind of how you activate flight in um, in creative mode too. We got these beautiful 1.9 loading errors that are fantastic. Um, okay, so let's try. I think, now that I'm remembering it, I think maybe I saw Etho mess with one of these at one point. And I think you need to have like a decent height. It takes a while for you to like come out of the dive and actually do any gliding. My gosh, with the loading errors here, seriously. It's shocking to me that they went to production, the production build with this, considering all the little bugs we found. Um, okay. All right, we're just gonna give it a go. Okay, well that did nothing. So I don't know how these work. I guess I need to look into it. I don't have the health to do it another shot. So I think we're gonna call it in for today, but we have a nice, a nice fun time exploring some stuff in the end at least. Um, and uh, these haven't taken much durability because we didn't actually get to do any flying. So that's exciting, but uh, okay. Well, yeah, there we go. So we'll figure that out and maybe play with it a little bit more uh, next time. But thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Torbert the Great and you guys have been great. Make sure to leave those likes, comments, subscriptions for me, guys. And I'll see you all back here next time. Alrighty, guys. Have a good one.